What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. So if you caught the last video, you see we got some baby goats on the ground. And I even got more to share with you now. We're going to take a look at them here in just a minute. We got a couple projects we're going to get out of the way today. A little update on the doghouse whelping box I um, am building for Cora. I'm not completely done because you guys are helping me out with something. Um, you guys gave me a lot of good information and tips and I appreciate that. So you can see some of the babies right there. There's three of them laying right there by their dad. There's there's twins laying right there by their dad. Bo, the the uh, almost said Nigerian. He is a New Zealand Kiko. And we got several other mamas that's fixing the kid. We got some uh, new babies in the barn. And um, <clears throat> there is Miss Cora Eliski. Cora, you are getting big. I am going to say I'm 100% sure you're going to have puppies now. I can definitely tell a difference in Miss Cora. So I told you guys I was going to do little update videos here and there. Well, yesterday um, we were out here messing around with the goats and the babies and checking on the dogs and everything. And Cora was laying down and you could just physically see how much bigger her belly has gotten. So, uh... She's still about 20 days out or so, and uh, from her due date on average, I think it's 63 days from the day she's bred. But uh, so I don't know. We'll we'll just wait and see how many she has. But I'm gonna say she's definitely carrying, carrying some puppies. What do you think, girl? She's she's been acting different. Yep. And there's Mr. Leesky. Good good dogs. You guys been doing good with those new babies, haven't you? Go take a look. I gotta show them the dog whelping box I built. We're not done with it. <clears throat> and that is why I love YouTube. I love the comments because I had no idea um, about some of this stuff with the puppies in the whelping box. So I went ahead and built the box. And uh, let me show you these babies real quick and I'll finish my story. But look at this little guy right here. Look at this baby goat. Is that not a beautiful goat? I gotta get mama some water. But that baby, I think he's ready to come out. What do you think? You wanna let him out, Liski? He said, yep. Uh, I've been watching over this baby all by myself. So I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and let this baby out with the mama. Come on, mama and baby. Y'all can come out. So this baby was born two days ago and went ahead and pinned the mama up um, <clears throat> because she kept going outside with the baby and at night it was really cold and I didn't want that baby to go outside and these Spanish, these Spanish goats, they have a tendency to hide their babies like out in the brush and stuff and I didn't want that baby spending the night out there by itself. So anyway, you can see the baby's eating. That is a very pretty baby and the one we just had born about an hour ago, is this one right here? Look at the colors on this one. You're a pretty little goat, and it looks healthy. So main thing is the health, we want them to be healthy. And um, them, them flashy colors like that, it's got a white belt around it. And you can see mama, that's a Spanish mama. But yeah, the little baby's doing good. I've been watching it on the camera. You guys know we got the, uh, Real link camera up here in the barn, so now we are able to keep an eye on the progress of mamas and the babies, seeing how they're doing, and uh, it has audio too. So, therefore, if there's any weird noises, then uh, we can listen to that. All right, so let's get on to the welcome box. All right, so you know, we have this corner stall here in the goat barn where we usually put, you know, mom and dad some babies and stuff like that if we need to put them in here. Well, we got all this extra space that's actually perfect for Cora to have her babies in. Now, whether she has them in here or not, I can't do anything about that. I'm not gonna lock her up in here. I'm gonna let her have her babies wherever she wants and then if we need to move them, then we'll move them in here. But I got a couple things for this here that we're gonna do. So I think this is like a four by five. It's four foot wide, five foot long, and it's over three foot tall. Kinda let you guys see in there. And of course, I've gotta clean it all out and all that before we 
get the babies in there. We got straw in there, but the goats have been getting in here. I haven't kept them locked out in case any of the mamas want to get in here and have their babies. So anyways, I've got a, a couple things we're going to do today. So you guys know the babies are due here in just less than three weeks or so. And that's the middle of January. And um, I just seen the local news forecast is calling for some snow and stuff around like January 10th or something. So usually in January, it's really cold here. We get snow and stuff like that. So we got to keep the babies indoors. So that's good. That's going to, you know, it's going to keep them dry. It's going to keep them warm. But I think they need a little more assistance staying warm. So I bought a heater that is designed to go in dog houses. It's a 400 watt heater. I'll show you guys here in just a little bit. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and get that mounted today too, bringing you guys along. But one thing where I come in the barn, I was trying to tell you guys a story and I get sidetracked when I see these cute baby goats and everything. I love the comments on our videos. Um, a lot of people go to YouTube to learn stuff. You know, if you need to change spark plugs in a 1970 Chevy 350 engine, go to YouTube, you figure out how to do it, right? Well, one thing I love about YouTube is I, I get a lot back from you guys. Um, Rachel and I, we, we read through the comments and you know, if I ask you guys a question, hey, what do you guys think about this? I can depend on you guys to always leave us awesome comments and um, or tips or tricks and stuff. So I built this box and I talked about it in the last video and so many of you is like, hey Kevin, you need to put a two by four or something around towards the bottom, not all the way on the bottom, but something around the bottom that keeps the bigger, large breeds of mamas from laying on their babies. It kind of gives them babies a little room to get out from under the mama. Come here, Cora. Come here, girl. Come here. So it gives them a little room to get out from mama so mama don't squish them because these first time moms sometimes don't know exactly what they're doing and they might lay on a baby. Yeah, of course it. I would never do that. Well, we're gonna we're gonna fix you up, girl. We're gonna try to make your pin where uh, that won't happen. So we'll see. So I'm trying to leave this door open here so Cora will kind of start looking for a nesting place, and then uh, she'll see this, and hopefully, hopefully she will have her babies in here. We don't have to move them because that is one thing I am really worried about is trying to move. Her babies, say she has her babies out there and it's snowing or something. I mean, it can happen. Um, I'm gonna ask you guys again on this. You guys help me on the uh, welcome box tips. If she does have her babies out there, is it okay to go ahead and move them? Um, because if she has them outside or say she has them in the corner of the build of the barn or whatever, we want to put them in here, but uh, I don't want to disturb the bonding i don't i don't think they're quite like goats i think they're a little different so the little babies in here with the buck but anyways that was one question i wanted to ask you guys what are you doing come here oh come this way come this way all right there goes the baby he was getting scared of a bow in there so you can see mama right there so this baby's out now. She has uh, some friends to play with. Rachel and I put these dog houses in here. It lets the babies get away from the bigger goats and stuff. They lay in here. It's very warm in there. They got a nice bedding of this dry straw. And uh, this pretty much, you know, is really thick rubber or plastic and it keeps them insulated in there. And when you get three or four babies in there, you can imagine the body heat that it, they put off. So. Works. You're a little too big for that house. Don't be, uh, don't be getting no ideas. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna go grab some tools and uh, get started on this. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. Um, I'm trying to uh, not go this way. I'll go around the other way because I don't want the. Uh, when anytime you walk out here, these goats just assume you're gonna feed them, and they come running. And sometimes they're not the nicest to the babies. They'll they'll kind of trample them and stuff like that. Bo, get out of there. Come here, Leesky. Come here, Lees. What do you do? Smell them? Smell them in there? Yeah. There's my... There's Miss Cora. There's Miss Cora. All right, who's next? Who's going to have the next babies? Ginger's checking that baby. She says, where'd my babies go? Ginger had twins, if you guys remember. She had the two twins. 
But as I look around, there are several mamas. That mama is gonna have babies. That mama is gonna have babies. Several of these mamas are still due to have babies. You're not gonna have babies. Cora's gonna have your babies here in a couple weeks. But anyways, so you guys, uh, I think I finished my question. If Cora has these babies anywhere besides where we want them in the whelping pen, is it okay to move them? What's your advice on that? I never knew we had so many dog breeders that watched our videos and I appreciate the comments and all the tips and everything that you guys have been uh, sending our way. So thank you guys very much. So I'm gonna go grab the ranger, load it up with some tools and stuff and uh, we'll get busy on the whelping box and I'll come to show you guys what we got going on. Hey, Mr. Smeagol. You're not supposed to eat on the job, buddy. It's not break time. Oh, I got caught, he said. <laughs> okay, so for as of now, I have this roof part of this screwed on it. It's got like three screws in the top. Um, this is very easy to just come right off in case we need to get in there. And in this case, I gotta get back in there and do some more work. I don't wanna try to crawl in there and it be all dark and all that, trying to do all that. But I got the two by fours right here and um, I'll show you guys once I get this top off what the plan is. Okay, so the tips you guys gave me on this is this two by four is three and a half inches wide and you guys recommended I put one all the way around on all the sides and it would be like this right here. Giving three and a half inches of space or so to allow those little newborn babies to get back behind Cora if they're behind her when she lays down and this will kind of keep Cora from laying on top of them. It gives them a little space to get away from and that's one thing I didn't think of so I'm going to go ahead and do that now I don't need no help.
Okay, so we got the little rail all the way around done. Now let's take a look at that heater and go get it mounted. So this heater, I found it on Amazon. It is a 400 watt made for doghouse heater. Turbo neighborhood. And it's supposed to be really safe. It's supposed to be a lot safer than using like a heat lamp. Um, it has this guard on it right here so nothing can touch the metal part that's actually hot down inside. This right here is just like a hard plastic that does not get hot. I tested it already and it has this bite proof cord on it which we'll try to hide this as good as we can. A uh, 10 foot cord on it and basically it says you mount it three inches from the top and three inches from any wall and it has to be mounted like this. It can't be mounted upside down on the ceiling. So you can see right there it says dog house heater. It had pretty good reviews and it should do a good job keeping these babies warm. One more in the bottom for good measure. Okay, that thing ain't going nowhere. All right. Okay, we have the heater secured to the wall, but I need a way to get the switch and the power cord out of there and I need a way to mount it safely. I was going to try to mount it up here on the wall, out of reach of dogs and the goats, because if you guys know goats, they will try to chew on all kinds of stuff to get their horns tangled in it. And this will be an easy place where you can come over here and switch. It actually has a low and a high setting, so that will be nice to be able just to reach up here and change it if we need to. So I got a hole saw here. I'm going to set this up and uh, get us a hole drilled through the wall and feed that plug through.
Okay, so we got all of our wiring secure. Let's try it out on the low setting first. Make sure it doesn't uh, trip any breakers. So it's supposed to put off like a 42 dB or so decibel rate, um, which isn't very loud. I'm gonna be quiet so you guys can hear it. If the uh, camera's even picking it up. It's just a little fan in there that blows the warm air. Ooh, that gets, that gets pretty warm pretty quick. And like I said, you can hold your hand right on the, uh, on the face of it and it will not burn you. Let's go ahead and go to the higher setting. So that's blowing a little harder. You can hear the fan kick up a little more. So I think that is going to work out good. It's not going to be super hot in there, but it is definitely going to... Uh, knock the chill off and keep them very comfortable from what I was reading I guess puppies can't regulate their own body heat until they're about a month old or so so they do need a little help especially in the middle of January here oh yeah that puts off a good amount of heat and once I put the uh, top back on here this should stay nice and cozy very very good very good Okay, the top is back on, the heater's ready to go. Um, it should be dog proof and goat proof. They shouldn't be able to get to any of the wires to chew them up or endanger anybody. So I think we are good to go. We'll wait closer to time and then we'll get the bedding ready and all that and figure out what all we want to do. Okay, so the next thing I gotta worry about is how do I keep the goats out but allow Cora to get in and out as she wants to? So I'm going, we got a couple weeks, like I said, uh, before the puppies are supposed to be here. So what I'm gonna try to do is, I think I'm going to try to make a little pass through this gate right here. I'm gonna move a couple of these boards up and try to make room where only Cora can really fit through there. Because not only we wanna keep the goats out, we wanna try to keep Leesky out from, away from the puppies as well. So I think if I make it low enough, Cora will be able to get in there and hopefully not Leesky. But uh, with a couple weeks still to go, um, this will kind of give me a little trial and error. Um, I might get some treats or something later and uh, see if I can get Cora to try to come in here. And uh, I'll have to play with these boards, of course, moving them up and down. But I think the idea will work. Keeping the ghost out is uh, the really hard part.
Okay, so I think Cora can still get in here. Um, I know the little bitty goats can get in and out of here, but I don't think the big ones will try to get in here. Now, I might be wrong. Well, Cora, your doghouse is ready or your whelping box is ready. So it's all up to you now, girl. I got everything ready for you. you got to get your bedding done, but other than that, I think your puppies are going to have a nice, safe, comfortable place to, to, to be born and to grow up in. So you want to go try it out? She says, maybe you can bring me some treats, Dad. You want to go try it out? She said, oh, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. I love it. Bisky said, yeah, me and Dad built it by ourselves. I don't know about that, mister. I didn't see you helping too much. He said, oh, I was just watching your back, make sure nobody, none of these coyotes come and try to bite you or anything through the woods. Cora, how are you doing, girl? So, um, I'm going to try to zoom in if Mr. Leesky will get out of the way. And I don't know if you guys can see her, her nipples or not, but uh, they are getting quite large. So, in her belly, I know it's hard to see on camera and video, but in person you can definitely tell her old belly is just swelling up. She's getting a, she's getting big old belly on her. She said, don't, Lisky said, don't talk about my wife like that. It's just the babies. It's just the babies, I know. You wanna go see some of the baby goats with me? Come on, let's go check them out. Hey, what's your name? You're a little peanut butter color baby, aren't you? Hey, excuse me. That's your mama. What are you doing? Are you playing with a rock? He said, oh, I didn't know you were watching me, mister. Well, what do you got there? That's a nice shiny thing. Oh, I better not play with that. My mama's gonna get mad. Look, the mama's trying to take him away. Come here. I won't hurt you. So you can see mama's bag is a little lopsided. Her udder, one teat is uh, super full and the other one is uh, drink dry almost. So that baby, as the baby gets a little bit older, uh, it should start grabbing onto the other teat and uh, should help her out and get that kind of drain down a little bit. Let's go see where the other babies are. So the newest baby, no, that's not the newest baby. That's the baby we just let out. You can see mama's hiding behind that creep feeder. Kind of just getting some uh, fresh air because she was locked in the barn for two days. Just out of precaution because it was cold and didn't want that baby getting out here in the field left or something. And then we'll come over here and look at the twins. You guys seen, uh, I think I had it on video whenever Ginger just had these babies, the twins. And it looks like Bo's babysitting again. Is that good stuff? This Kiko goat's enjoying her hay. She said, that's crunchy. And then you got the twins over here just doing their little nap. With their dad. Hey Bo, you're a good babysitter, buddy. So both of these are little girls. And we need to start ear tagging them so we can kind of keep track of everybody. Because right now I know who the mamas are. But whenever you add 15 or 20 more of these babies, it gets a little hard to keep track of. Here. You want me to pet you? She said, as long as you're gentle. Yeah, you're soft and warm. You are too. Hey, looky here. Tell everybody hi. Oh, you're stretching? He said, she said, that was a good nap. Leesky, I'm not hurting the babies. Look at this. He said, did I hear something? You messing with my babies, huh? He said, you messing with my babies? I was just checking on them. I promise. I'm not gonna hurt the babies. I'm not gonna hurt them. 
Oh, now I got backup coming. Come here. Look at here. <laughs> Miss Cora, Leesky, you got the whole crew here. Oh yeah, you're a big baby. I don't want to hold you. Come here, Cora, you want a hug? Come here, come here, I'll give you a hug. Come here. Come here, I'll give you a hug. Come here. Come here, pretty girl. Look at this guy. Oh, he said, geez, I'm not taking your picture, buddy. He said, yeah, look how shiny my teeth are, Dad. I've been chewing on sticks. Cora. Cora loves the baby goats. She could sit out here all day and just lay with them. She loves laying with them baby goats. Look at this silly guy. What are you doing? I'm not going to hold you. You weigh just as much as I do. Come here. Good girl. There's a pretty girl. Yep, there's a good girl. Yeah. Oh, I'll give you a hug. Really, Mr. Leesky? <laughs> Mr. Jealous? Oh, there's Smeagol. Of course, I'd... What are you doing, Smeagol? Man, I just can't get over how big Cora's getting, and she's still got like three weeks left to carry those babies. I hope she doesn't have a bunch of babies. I don't want to see her have like a dozen. I know it's going to be whatever it's going to be, but uh, I don't want to try to take care of 12 babies right off the bat. Um, Rachel and I are very new to uh, puppies, so uh be a new experience for us, and uh... I don't know. I don't know if I want to try to get rid of 12 little puppies. And I still don't know if we're going to keep any for ourselves or not yet either. So stay tuned. I don't know what's going to come of that. But anyways, it's about time to go feed. I just wanted to bring you guys along and show you the progress that we're making on the whelping box. She lost her baby. Let me help you find your baby. Your baby's still in the barn. You just had the baby. That's the mama that didn't have the baby. Come on. Come on, I'll go with you. Alright, well I was going to try to end the video, but this mama's freaking out. There's the baby right there. Oh, and then we got... Oh, that's a little peanut butter baby. He came in here. Let me see if I can get a close-up. You can see him in there. They love these little dog houses. He's already sleeping. Your baby's in here. Mm -hmm. There she is. Huh? She's like, oh, I misplaced him. Or I said, don't cry, mama. Did you have to come show the mama where her baby was? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That hurts Cora's feelings when you lose your baby. You don't, don't lose your baby, she said. She don't want to see anyone sad, do you? No, Cora's a good girl. Cora's getting very emotional. I know that for sure. Alright, so uh, I'm going to wrap up the video. Um, I can almost guarantee you by the next time I do a video, there's going to be more babies on the ground. So stay tuned for that. They are starting to hit the ground just about every day now. And uh, that's a good thing. Um, luckily, we got some very good weather going right now. It does get cold at night, but it's pretty sunny today. A um, little cloudy, not very windy. But uh, it's been warming up in the daytime, so it's not too bad. And it's allowing these kids to get out and play and uh, stretch their legs a little bit and uh, kind of explore. So anyways, guys, subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed, leave us a comment down below and we'll see you next time. You want to say bye, Cora? You want to say bye? Tell them. So you see you guys next time. <laughs>